Idaho National Laboratory researchers are preparing to team up with researchers from Japan on something not tried in two decades. Eyewitness News 3's Braden Wilson shows us what they are hoping to achieve. Japanese researchers are teaming up with INL researchers to test the future of fast nuclear reactors. Colby Jensen, a representative of INL, says working with the Japanese will present an opportunity. Japan is one of our, our uh, international collaborators. They do a lot of work in, in this area, and so it's really great to work with like-minded people, experts, some of the best experts in the world. Fast nuclear reactors aren't a new technology, but they present a unique option compared to other reactors. The fast spectrum allows you to uh, basically, you can burn a lot of the fission products that are produced in, in the fission process. Uh, fast reactors will actually burn those use that to produce more energy um, so it it really offers a unique advantage to even recycle fuel from from thermal reactors or create a, a in essence a, a fuel cycle that really is is fast reactor um, focused jensen adds that working in the idaho desert presents special conditions to conduct the research it, with the the transient reactor test facility we call it the treat facility uh, that facility is really unique in the world um, to be able to do testing on fuels to explore their limits, uh, to explore behaviors that uh, aren't the expected normal behavior of the fuel. So we, quite often we, we, we draw the comparison of doing car crash testing, um, uh, but for nuclear fuels. We, want, we really want to understand the limits and kind of the what-if scenarios in a way that's safe and controlled. Jensen adds that the teams hope to not only understand the current level of technology associated with fast reactors, but improve them for the next generation. There's a strong interest to, to develop fuels, uh, develop fast reactor technologies that are going to uh, basically be the next generation of, of nuclear uh, energy that can both produce power, but also help us to manage uh, uh, the fuel cycle in a way that uh, we haven't done to date. Jensen stressed that the main point of the research is to not just understand the current applications in fast nuclear reactors, but also find ways to improve upon them. He says that can be found in the terms of newer fuels or newer designs. In Idaho Falls, I'm Braden Wilson.